so the Colts are a mess right now. And looking at like Matt Ryan, I was thinking, well, he has to be like losing it. Uh, I saw a random passing chart from one of the games before he was benched where he's throwing and connecting on a decent amount of deep balls over 10 yards, right? One, two for touchdowns. And he went like 42 for 58. When you're old and they're having you throw 58 times, right, against the Jaguars, like, why are you throwing that much? Number one. (laughs) And number two, I know you're doing it well, but that's not going to hold up. It's kind of like the old running back thing where you can kind of look at in college. It's the same for college and the NFL. If you're looking at got running backs that have high production and you look at like their stat line, if they have a, like a ton more carries than the next running back, you can almost guarantee that those are going to start to like even out because once you get so many hits on you, you're done. Quarterbacks are the same way. You saw it with Ben Roethlisberger where, Hey, we're going to go pass heavy as he got older. Like it made no sense. Like he had success being young without throwing the ball. Matt Ryan, you're throwing 58 times a game. What's wrong with you? Hand the ball off. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Like you had Hines, like now he's with the Bills or whatever. So they fire Frank Reich. He's out at Indy. And it makes me wonder, like. Is he the next the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers? Why? You think they're going to get rid of Tomlin? Where where's the next win coming from? Oh, and maybe you're right. I don't know if they can do that. The like, it, it comes with. Do you stick with the same coach for a rebuild? That's kind of like what the Colts were doing. Uh, haven't they had a couple of coaching changes? Like I I just don't see how making a change after you brought in Matt Ryan because it worked with Philip Rivers, right? They made the run. It's like you're the team where old quarterbacks come for one last hurrah. Well, the Colts named Jeff Saturday the interim coach. Was he with the was he on the staff with the Colts? I don't know. You're asking the hard hitting questions I have no idea on. <laughs> because I, I know he was doing like some high school stuff, but I, I wasn't sure if he was on the staff. I don't know if that would be like a... I'm, I'm assuming at this point it doesn't violate the Rooney rule or anything. I know where you're going with this. You're wondering how he got the call up from high school, coach, right? <laughs> yes, that's exactly <laughs> the direction. Because if Tomlin goes, I mean, I pretty much have my bags packed. <laughs> are you just going to be hanging out down in Pittsburgh or where are you going? Uh, I'm, I'm, willing, I'm, I'm willing to be like Tom Brady. I'm willing to put my marriage on the line, coach the Steelers. <laughs> You should just go to Hawaii and coach there. It seems nice. Uh, all the recruits are right in town. It's not like people are good at you're getting recruits from out of state, right? <laughs> and then you can just throw the ball and do whatever you want. That's like that's what Matt Ryan needs to do. If he's throwing 58 times a game, Matt, you're not going to hold up at that age. You're just not. So my question is, Matt Ryan, like, is he done? I don't think he's done. You don't think so? Because I'm, I'm looking back at our thing here, what we had Matt Ryan. Because he had playoff issues, right? He finally got so close to a Super Bowl. And then Tom Brady took it away from him, another old guy that could be retiring at any time. We don't know. Maybe he stays forever. But Matt Ryan, I don't know who's going to take a chance on him, right? You have to have a quarterback or a franchise that needs a quarterback. And I don't really see one that's available. 